Peace, family. What's good? It's your brother, God Science. I'm up in here once again. Shout out and a special salute to the few that do watch the video. Subscribe. Really appreciate y'all. True indeed. Uh, I want to do this again, man. I made a video a couple of days ago about this same situation. And um, of course, I went and put music in it and YouTube blocked it because of copyright issues. I don't know what, you know, possessed me to go take Jay-Z song and put it in one of my videos. But um, <laughs> they took it down. So let's try this again. Um, I want to talk about quick today is the back and forth YouTube war in the YouTube streets between brother Hassan Campbell and brother Hassan Netta. And um, for the Plast Cup, now I'm subscribed to both of these brothers' channels. Been for a while, so I get notifications and I just saw the back and forth. You know, I saw Sonetta on YouTube with, you know what, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> and it's like, wow, is this getting out of control? Now, the main thing I want to talk about this, man, is certain things I see, not going to take too long. It's just, um, I don't like the fact that people are bringing, you know, bystanders, their family members into this beef, you know, and I mean, shit, even the Italian mob, when they was at war, didn't they just, you know, um, it was like, leave the family members alone, you know, the people that wasn't involved in it, I mean, and they supposed to be the gangsters, the gangsters, right, now I know, Poppy, you're the toughest of tough, I get it, but you're not the only one from the streets, Sometimes some people don't like to speak on their past, you know, especially if being in the streets was a whole bad experience, uh, something that you regret. And that, you know, applies to me. I was in the streets, but it's not something that I like to brag about. It's something like I like to tell people about all the time because I feel like I lost a big chunk of my life being in the streets. You see, the people that I used to run with, they either dead. Some of them hooked on drugs. Some of them locked up forever or for a long ass time. I got brushed up and was locked up. I never went to prison or anything like that, but I did like a year and a half in jail. And if anybody's been in county jail and shit like that, it's not cool, all right? A year feels like fucking five goddamn years. It's nothing cool. And I could have been doing something with that time. You know, I work on music and, and and pursue to live off my music. I could have been starting doing that shit back then. But I was in the streets holding guns, selling drugs out, trap houses with, with, with my friends and shit, thinking it's cool, walking around with guns, busting you know, anybody brush up on you or look at you funny, you want to pull your gun out. It, it was just so dumb, stupid shit. You know what I mean? So a lot of people that's from the streets, been in the streets, don't, you You will never, prof you will never know, probably know, because not every one of them will, and that's your, you know, and that's his perspective, you know, and that's his prerogative. If he wants to let people know he was in the streets and he's a street dude and all that, that's cool. But all I'm saying is that not everyone who was a street dude and changed their lives will come out and tell you that there was a street dude. Some people just don't want to visit that past. But the point I'm trying to make is when you hear Poppy try to, you know, um, make sense of why he's dragging Sonetta's wife all over YouTube. And it's not even funny, you know, because I, you know, I hate to see sh shit like that. But you know, he's from the streets. He fights grimy. There's no rules in war. I get that. But not everybody from the streets has that mentality. I think that shows more of your character and what you're willing to do. There's some dudes that's in the streets, that's from the streets, that have codes. It sounds hell as well. I've known dudes that was fucking straight up killers. But if without them telling you that, you would never think they were the nicest person ever. They were, they loved the, they was cool with kids. You see them with their kids playing with kids, and she'd be like, "Damn, this dude is a killer." 
it goes i think that's more on an individual basis i don't think that's just straight from the streets not everybody would attack you know they have beef with someone you know because what are you saying if i had beef with someone i mean beef beef well you know on site type beef well it's on we pulling out we blasting if i see this person so if you see this person um this is sort of like what happened when uh 50 cent um son was jumped by um jimmy henchman i mean it's like come on man come on are you gonna attack his family? Or if you see his family in a store or some shit like that, and Sarnet is not around and you see his wife and his kids, what you gonna attack them? Come on, man. I just think that that's just crossing the line a little bit. Let's have some type of, you know, some type of code, ethic. You call, you say you're a Muslim. And I don't wanna hear that excuse about I'm not gonna act like how people want me to act just to say I'm a Muslim. But a Muslim says how a Muslim's supposed to act. It's in the damn Quran. You know what I mean? So how can you, you know, attack somebody's family? Even if you haven't, I don't know, maybe it just takes a bigger person. And maybe, I know we all individuals, we all different, but it takes a bigger person to say, hey, I got beef with this dude, but I'm not gonna fuck with his wife and his family. You know, I'm gonna leave that alone. I guess that takes a big dude, or maybe I'm just soft, I guess, right? Okay, cool. All right, the next thing that I notice is, Poppy likes to call a lot of people ugly. All right, now, I don't, man, it sounds like we in fucking high school. The reason I know he's doing that shit is because he's, you know, he's pissing off Sarnetta. But what I've noticed is that every time this brother calls someone's ugly, they dark skin. Now, I might be reaching on that shit. I might be reaching on it. But anybody else notice that shit? And the reason why I bring it up is because, you know, I'm from Brook. I grew up in Brooklyn, and I was around a lot of Puerto Ricans. I, I was raised around a, a lot of Puerto Ricans. And if you do the science on uh, Puerto Rico, they have a lot of African culture, down to the food, the some of the spiritual systems they have. It's all inf a lot influenced by Africa. But because some of them think they're, they're light-skinned, some of them are light-skinned, they think they're better. And you know, while I'm on that, a message to all them Hispanics out there that think they're white. Now you see that Donald Trump got his foot up y'all ass. Maybe y'all can, uh, you know, wake up because I dated a lot of Spanish women in my time, and I used to get a lot of racism from them. And the funny shit about it was they wasn't as you know more lighter than me, but because they're a little bit light skinned or some shit, they think they're better. And I see that a lot in this community. A lot of dark skinned sisters deal with that. They're called, I mean, and they guess it's some beautiful, you know, you know, I have a different, I have a different perspective on, you know, people being ugly and, 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 and all that dumb shit, you know, but I'll get to that just now. What I'm saying is a lot of dark skin uh, sisters deal with that. They might be beautiful as hell, but because they dark skin, they feel that people will look at them. And a lot of brothers do because they're dark skin or they are ugly and shit. Now I hope Poppy is not like that. But I, just to make things clear, your, your wife is not fly because she's light skin. Your kids is not, uh, you know, cute and beautiful because they're light skin. And you're not, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the apple of the lady's eyes because you're light skin. Please stop it. I hope I'm wrong, but it just seems maybe it's a coincidence that the people that he has beef with are always dark skin. And, you know, he was going to go at their family and they have family that's happened to be dark skin. Maybe that's what it is. You know, maybe it's nothing to what I'm saying, but I just noticed that little shit right there, you know, and being in from a black person from the black community that's probably considered that is considered dark skin i already told you all the shit i used to deal with and it wasn't from the white man it wasn't from the white man it was from my own people it wasn't always cool to be from africa all right there was once upon a time when you was teased and called an african booty scratcher before they started wearing uh african medallions and hip-hop it wasn't real cool <laughs> to be all right even called shaka zulu this is the shit that our people used to do of course because they're 85 and so fucking lost but um you know it was all it wasn't always cool to be uh rocking with africa like that you know so i hope you know it's not 
that light skin, dark skin shit has nothing to do with this. It's probably a coincidence, but I just noticed that. And I hope it's not because you're supposed to be standing and, and defending and going, you know, bringing awareness of, you know, pedophilia and, and, and child abuse in the black community, which is a good cause. I'm not saying it's not. But you can't be on this, you know, that dark skin and light skin bullshit and talk about you standing for the black community because we come in all different types of fucking shades. You know that. Just want to make that clear, man. Now, when it comes to this, you know, dragging Sonetta's, you know, and everybody, I was in that live stream and I'm seeing him making fun of Sonetta's wife. And you have people, you would swear we was like... You know, it was a bunch of kids in the chat room, and they're like, yeah, she look like a man, 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 man. Half of those people that's calling her ugly, they probably 10 times uglier than, I'm not even going to say she's ugly, but, you know, I, I want to be like, I'm looking, I'm like, you fucking talking? Anyway, the point is this, man. Beauty's in the eye of the fucking beholder. And people that supposedly supposed to, I don't give a fuck what Poppy says. A lot of his fucking followers are from the conscious, what your so-called conscious community. Because I didn't know who hell Poppy was until Sarnetta put him on his platform. And I know that's not only true for me. A lot of people found out about Poppy through the Bambada situation. And where did Bambada situation come out in? It didn't come out first in uh in those uh big white medias and everything it was sonetta and people like irritated genie and people coming together for that cause which is what you will call the what's left of the conscious community so a lot of his followers come from there right right so it's just that you know if you if your followers coming from the conscious community they should know these things but I guess we all human sometimes and we fall into our lower selves. But beauty's in the eye of the beholder. The whole fucking internet might think Sarnetta's wife is ugly. But what does Sarnetta think about his wife? In his eyes, he's probably beautiful. Right? Okay, let's weigh that. We think Sarnetta's wife is ugly. I'm not saying I do, but I'm just giving an example. All right? And then we think uh, Sarnetta think his wife is amazing. Which one matters? When Sonetta is home alone with his wife and his kids, which one fucking matters? It's what the fuck he thinks. Just like I see Pineal Gland and I don't think she's all less. I had flyer chicks than that. And I'm not even trying to disrespect her or anything like that, but it's fucking true. Because Poppy acts like she's about Beyonce or some shit like that. Not saying the sister is not, uh, you know, she's not pretty or anything. I'm not saying that. But the way how you act, you're comparing the two. And that's like a kid's fucking game. Who gives a shit? Who cares if this, bro if you think this brother's wife is, I mean, it's like, come on, bro. I even heard you sometimes calling dudes ugly. I'm like, why are you even looking at dudes? Like, it's like, come on, man. He has a childish fucking way sometimes where he would go in and start when you're ugly. And it's like, who the fuck, you know? People don't marry other people to please other fucking people. And if you're doing that, you have a real, you're, you're stupid. You're straight up dumb. The people that's making fun of you will, will ad, even admit, hey, you know, if you go marry somebody just to please the internet because everybody think your wife, your current wife is ugly, they trust me. And when they're, when they're by themselves, they'd be like, damn, that's a dumb motherfucker. He actually going to marry this person because we, he gives a fuck what we think so much. It's like, come on, man. Nobody gives a shit what y'all think about, you know, he shouldn't, he shouldn't care what anybody thinks about his fucking wife. Because if this man had to have some type of emergency or some, who the fuck he thinks going to be by his side? Who's probably riding with him when he was going through the isn't going through the lows of lows? It's not all about fucking looks. It's not all about looks. I learned that the hard fucking way. Cause like I said, okay, that you comparing looks, you put you have a girl that's uh fucking an Instagram fucking model. Let your ass go through some struggle. Let your ass go through some um type of situation where you need that person, and let's see if she sticks around. It ain't no, now, I'm not saying that nobody wants to have a fly wife or shit, but it's about how you feel about her. What I think is beautiful might not nobody else think is beautiful, and that's okay. That's what beauty in the eye of the beholder fucking means. 
Because if you really break it down, break down the science, because I love to break down the science, nobody's fucking ugly and nobody's fucking pretty. It's all on who's fucking doing the observing and what society has told you is ugly and what is pretty. And the majority is of of dark skinned girls. Let's just let's just say it in the black community. A lot of men's I mean shit. Go back and watch Spike Lee. Um, damn, what's the name of that fucking school days? Go watch that that movie and you see exactly what I'm talking about. It's always this white, light skin and dark skin shit in our in our community. You don't see rednecks. Uh, you know, making fun of white people that have tans or it's like, you know, it's real fucking retarded. Now, we know that comes with the mind programming that we have received, the caste system that was laid down for, you know, fucking decades. But it doesn't mean that we have to keep on fucking following it. Stop it. And why can't we just go at each other and not bring in family members and little fucking children? I mean, what the hell does sign other children do to you? You know, just because you can say it and piss them off doesn't mean you have to say it because you have to look. You're bringing those innocent people that have nothing to do with it into it. You're putting their name and their, the, you know, their reputation, everything online. All to all this, so you're gonna destroy innocent people, uh, you know, character and everything just to get at Sonetta when you can just go to him yourself. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. And then you do that, and then you bring Sonetta to do one of the most all time lows, and you have a a, a um a mom that's sick in the hospital and he starts wishing that you you know fuck your your mom and shit like that. It's like come on, man. Now, you know, maybe, you know, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me because it's not cool to show compassion and it's not cool. It's weak. You know, it's weak if you show compassion and shit like that. Yes, motherfuckers from the streets can change and show compassion. Okay? Just because, you know, this, this, uh, let Poppy tell it, you have to be this animalistic, no heart having motherfucker. Well, you know, let me let me let me let me remix that back. He's right in a sense because I wasn't I was that wasn't who I am. That's why I always get in a fucking jam. That's why when the fucking one time po 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 pull up, my ass is going to jail. I wasn't able. You have niggas that will go sell drugs and they'll go scot free. Me is always an issue. Why? Because I was being shown something. That's not who the fuck you are. That's not who you are. You need to be in a fucking studio. Being a fucking nerd on a fucking computer, that's who you are. And I, that's just one of my fucking uh, beliefs in, in, in life. When you're doing something that you, you're not doing, you're trying to be somebody, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do it with ease. There's some people out there who were just born to be fucking killers, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Me, it wasn't me. I, I had a heart. <laughs> okay? I had a heart. And you can't have a heart when you're in the streets. I get that. And that's one of the reasons why I wasn't that successful, because it wasn't who the fuck I am. But I know a lot of dudes that are, and they have hearts too. So it doesn't mean that you have to stoop low and start talking about fucking children, but and bringing the dude's wife and dragging her. You, you did it already. All right, leave it alone. Let it go. Go on to something new. But it doesn't help when you have people in the chat, in the comment section, hanging on, you know, it's like, come on, man. Y'all really, you know, it, they're fucking sheeps. They're sheeps. You know, first you got people, you go read those comments and you got people that's like basically in love with Hassan Campbell. They have never met him in their fucking life. Only know him through YouTube. And they are so, and they, they're ride or die for him. We got your back. Of You know, funny thing, they won't fly to New York. If he got into a real fucking beef where guns is being shot at and he people are being shot at, they won't go catch a flight and go over there and help Hassan Campbell. They won't do that. But they'll be behind their fucking computer. Oh, I love you so much. You're the truth. Oh, I want to ride for you to the end. It's like, oh my God. I don't even want people to fucking, uh, I don't want that. I would love to have a lot of subscribers and shit. Hell yeah. I would love to have that. And, and make money from YouTube, of course. 
it's not it's not that serious but i would love to i, I would lie if i stand up here and say like i won't like to have a big channel of course but i don't want nobody riding my dick like that i don't want that shit that shit is creepy to me for a person to fly all fly from another state to meet someone off of youtube someone that they never met in their life i don't know i like i said i'm from the old school I, I'm from a different era. This era, you can do shit like that. And it's cool. We can, you know, we can do that. But we wasn't doing that shit back then. But, you know, hey, to each his fucking own. The point is this. We can find ways if you want to attack each other online. Be creative to come up with other shit. You don't have to drag kids and his wife and then talk about his mom signing it in. Y'all don't have to get down like that because I'm telling you, that shit is gonna create some, I mean, the last video I saw was signing in his car, which you know what? And it was like, see what I'm saying? Each person gets more personal and more personal and more personal and more personal and more personal to the point that it's gonna just create a fucking fire. Then how are we gonna feel the next day on YouTube, we see some, some news bulletin. Hassan Campbell got shot or uh, brother uh, Sanetta got shot. Then everybody going to be like, now y'all going to be sad. Now y'all going to be like, oh, damn. That shit just goes too far, man. You know, but hey, what do I know? I'm a small channel. People love to remind me of that. You get no views. You're a small channel. I don't give a shit. I know it's real hard for other YouTubers to understand this because they're so invested into YouTube. YouTube is all they have. That's their only hope. I got talent. I could make music. Okay? I got talent. I got other things I could do. I got a degree, a bachelor's degree and shit. I could try to use that. There's other revenue, other ways to make money, to make a living. YouTube is not the only thing. So when people come out and, and shout out, oh, you only got this amount of views, it's not going to hurt me. I'm not going to be like, oh, damn, I don't have a lot of views. Cut it out. Anyway, man, thank you guys for watching, subscribing. What y'all think about this whole situation? Leave your comments and um, peace.